Hi there, friends. Happy Friday to you. I'm ABC 13 meteorologist Alita Loresca with your need to know weather. There is going to be slight chance for a few strong thunderstorms, isolated severe thunderstorms east of I-45 in our north northeast counties. Timing is key, but before these storms arrive, we've got some record breaking heat on the way. Heat advisories have been upgraded to excessive heat warnings beginning at one o'clock this afternoon through nine o'clock this evening. I mentioned some highs today. Record heat expected once again at Bush Airport. This would be the third day that records could fall. 106 today in Katy, 108 in College Station. Also under an ozone pollution watch, very similar to what we've seen the several days. Now our computer models are showing that most of the day should stay dry, so that's going to allow temperatures to reach those record highs. Isolated thunderstorms a possibility, and we may be getting a cluster of heavy rain and thunderstorms late tonight once the sun goes down mainly north and east of Houston that cluster of storms looks to weaken as it continues to dive southward but it's overnight where things could get active especially east of I-45 you can expect some damaging winds with that cluster of storms including the potential for quarter size hail now we're not done with rain yet because throughout the morning and during the afternoon there will be waves of showers and storms associated with disturbances rotating around that ridge of high pressure. That best rain chance looks to be right now around noontime on Saturday. Increase that rain chance to about 60% with those showers and thunderstorms tapering off once the sun goes down on Saturday. So here's a look as some of those rainfall totals. Most areas less than a quarter of an inch through Saturday evening, but there will be those pockets of one to two inches. Upcoming week, we've got more changes on the way. As the trough continues to dig, that means cool front will be approaching the area, and the timing looks to be earlier than what we initially uh, thought earlier this week. It looks like it's going to be arriving sometime Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, and we've got some periods of rain to look forward to that will also lower the temperatures and we need that rain. The latest drought monitors out and we're seeing the expansion of exceptional drought, a level five uh, ex right now over parts of Wharton County, uh, seeing those conditions worsen, especially west of I-45. So here's a look at that 10 day. I've increased that rain chance to Saturday at 60% based on what I'm seeing with the latest computer models. That chance for rain does drop on Sunday to 20%. And as I mentioned, an active weather pattern now looks to unfold as we get into Tuesday of next week, dropping those temperatures down into the low 90s. All right, that's a look at your forecast on this Friday. Thanks for watching.